Hey, what is up, guys? Lightning Chat here, bringing you a um, black and white Wi-Fi battle standard match against Zenova 12. And uh, I've got some things to say at the end of the battle. And uh, yes, let's get started. He's gonna lead off with the Roserade. I lead off with my non fan. He uh, goes for the turn one sleep powder, and luckily for him, it uh, hits as I try to go set up my stealth rocks. But unfortunately, I don't because I'm asleep. They're gonna hit me with that sludge one, and I thought it would do, uh, do more, more damage because I am specially defensive. But uh, I do resist it, which I did not know, but now I do, so yay for me. I do get my stealth rocks up, and I know he's just gonna go for the sleep powder again, so I'm just gonna hit him with that eye shard. Which is great, it takes him to uh, another, uh, the, the range where a second one will take him out. He does miss his sleep powder, which is a uh, sucks room, but as I say, not really. Well, I do say it when I battle people, uh, that uh, it's, you can't rely on low accuracy moves. So yeah, I'm going to go for another eye shot. He predicts that, goes into his Milotic, and uh, this is where I shit myself. I've got actually pretty much nothing on my team that can take Milotic. So I'm going to go into my Vaporeon as he goes to that Ice Beam, and uh, I see the Life Orb here, which uh, tells me it's a, uh, um, some sort of offensive set. So uh, he's going to withdraw his uh, Milotic as um, I go for the Toxic. He goes into his ro ro Roserade, and he predicts that, and I don't understand why it's called Roseman, seeing so Roserade is a girl, as you can see there. And anyway, I'm going to switch out, go into my Shaman, predicting the obvious uh, Sleep Powder. And, uh, yes, the good thing about this is if I switch out, Shaman will instantly cure itself with natural fuel, so that is what it, I do. I go into my Iron Goat, predicting the Sludge Bomb, but, uh, he goes to the, uh, did I say Iron Man? Iron Goat, and, uh, he actually goes to the Hidden Power of Fire. So that was either a nice predict, or, uh, just, he went for the Hidden Power of Fire. I don't know, but unfortunately I do lose my Cabalion, which sucks. He's the main sweeper of my team, and it's going to be a bit harder to, um, play offensively without him, which sucks. But anyway, Dumpan just comes in and revenge kills with that priority eye shot, which is fantastic, because priority eye shot for the win. Next is going to go into his Claydol. I predict him to go for the uh, rapid spin or the stealth rock, so I'm just going to go into my uh, Moltres, just in case he does go for the stealth rock, but instead he goes to the ice beam and lols. It's actually a Zora, that's why I had such a low HP. I'm going to go straight for that nice days, and he'll obviously fix that, because it's an obvious move. And going to his Milotic, but it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't think I have really anything to touch a Milotic on this guy, except for the nice days. Anyway, it's a 2-hit KO from where it's at, but unfortunately I missed the second one, which sucks. And uh, I think night days has only 90 accuracy, so was, um, it shouldn't miss that often, but still it missed here. I'm going to switch out as he goes to the recovery. Well, he went for the recovery. Anyway, he's going to go for the hidden power. I zoom grass or electric scenes that would hit my vape prone for super effective damage. And his life orb. Yay. So anyway, uh, now he's going to continuously go for that said hidden power. Hidden power, electric or grass. Not quite sure. I'm going to go for the wish here, just so I can uh, get my health back. Because I can either next go for the protect or uh, go for the toxic. So, uh... I presume I go for the Toxic here as he hidden powers me again, and uh, that's exactly what I do, I go for the Toxic, and uh, it does hit, so now um, I can stall this thing out, knowing that he doesn't have a Heal Bella, and this guy does not have Rest, which is great. Wish will heal me up, and uh, I'm going to get those Lefty Discovery, I'm going to go for the Wish again, I'm pretty sure, so um, I can Wish Protect. So yes, he will hit me with that hidden power, I will go for the Wish, I think, man, I'm talking... I am speeding things up too fast, so yeah, I will go for the wish, and uh, that is great, because um, all I need to do is protect, and then my health will be at full, and he should die, and uh, I do, do, I do si decide not to go for the protect, and I decide to go for my offensive mood, which is Scald, I think I did that just in case he did decide to recover, and uh, yes, I'm, luckily for me, he doesn't recover, and uh, well, unluckily for me, because he would have died from toxic damage, even if I didn't attack him. So yeah, I'm at a great amount of help. He's gonna go into his Licky Licky, and uh, this guy is, uh, if I remember correctly, is a bitch. And anyway, uh, I'm gonna poison him with that Toxic, and uh, he's gonna go for a Sword Stance, so I'm thinking, well, crap, this guy has Sword Stance. I better switch out into uh, Don Fan or Moltres, because they're my physical walls. And yes, just to waiting for after sound effects now, which can be very, very annoying. Anyway, I'm gonna go, as I said, into my Don Fan to all him. He's gonna hit me with that Power Whip, which I was like, well, crap, I forgot this thing learnt it, and he's obviously going to take me out, because that is a plus two super effective power whip from a licky tongue. So, uh, that was pretty, uh, wow. So, I got right there. I'm going to go into my Moltres, seeing as though I've seen the power whip, but I don't think he has anything to touch me. And I am right, he doesn't have anything to touch me, but lols, this is actually the Zorark. Revenge can be, no, it's not really revenge. Anyway, I'm going to take out his Clodol. No, he lives, sorry. I'm going to hit his Clodol with that, uh, 
ultimately powered night days. And for some reason, like every time I go from the night days, I always get the accuracy drop. It's not a 50, a somewhat percent chance. It's a 100% chance every time I use it. Okay, maybe not, but still, he's going to go into his Arcanine here. Um, he's going to go over the extreme speed, and I presume he's a uh, choice bandit, I'm guessing, because he did just take me out, and uh, I don't think he did a get life or very cool. So yes, I presume he's choice bandit. I'm going to go into my Moltres here, and I'm just going to get the pressure on. He's going to hit me with another, another, another extreme speed. And this is my dual status Moltres from um, the battle I had with Condor in 66. Very, very good set, I personally do think. And, uh, yes, poison damage is, uh, gonna get stunned. He's gonna switch out, go into his, um, whatever this thing is called, um, uh, Archeops or something. As I go for the Roost, now, um, I'm pretty sure he's either gonna A, Head Smash me, B, Rock Slide me, or C, Stone Edge me. It's probably gonna be C. And, uh, so I'm gonna go into my Shaman, and yes, it was C, and uh, he does hit me with that Stone Edge. Uh, it doesn't do as much as a head smash would, but it does more than what a rock slide would. So it's in the middle, I guess. He's gonna hit me with another one. I can take that, but I'll, oh, of course I missed. So that sucks. Um, I'm, I ch did change this guy's set, and I did give it rest because rest is awesome. I barely live another one. I go screw it, seed flare time, and surprisingly it does kill because uh, this guy has actually got fantastic stats. It's just that on. Uh, He's got a shitty ability, and that's why he's not very, very used. So when he comes in the Arcanine, and he's actually going to hit me with that Wild Charge, because he does know I have the Moltres, and uh, I already know he is uh, banded. And really, none of my guys can really take the uh, Wild Charge. So, of course, I'm forced to go into my Moltres, which is, you know, of course-ness. He's going to hit me with the Wild Charge again. I know because I have max HP and max physical defense. I should be able to take one, which I do. He gets wrecked by a recoil, and I'm just going to roost up, which is amazing, because... Uh, not only do I have a great amount of health, and, uh, near full health, sorry. He's, uh, his guy's about to die too from poison damage, which is, wait, no, he lived, he lived. False alarm, guys, well, uh, yeah, but still, after the roost, I will be out of near, hate, uh, near full health. He will die from a uh, wild charge recoil, and, uh, if he didn't die from wild charge recoil, for some reason, poison would have killed him, which is obvious, yeah. So anyway, I'm at a great amount of health. I'm pretty sure his only guy that is left is his all-star player. His, uh, Licky Time, he has the Cloud Nine's present. I'm gonna just go for that flamethrower, because I'm pretty sure as long as he doesn't have rest, um, I'm pretty sure I can win this match with my, uh, Moltres, and I'm pretty sure of Vaporeon, which I still have left. Yay. And, you know, so our Moltres is here. He's just, uh, he's just chilling. I'm gonna continuously go for that flamethrower, and another one should be able to take him out. Yes, it does. So that's going to be GG, um, Zenobel12, uh, go check him out, link will of course be in the description, that was a fun match, it was a 2 hour since that you like killed my four first guys in the list, and uh, as you can see there, yeah that was all cool, uh, thanks for a good battle, and uh, what I wanted to say before, in the previous battle I had against Wild Chase, um, it got 8 thumbs up, and that's the most thumbs up I've ever, ever gotten on a video, so uh, Yes, if you can, can we try to get to 10 thumbs up this video? I would really appreciate that. And uh, the other thing I want to say is, uh, what's the very be this is my common question of the, the, the common qu question of the day? Leave your leave your answer in the um comment section below. And uh, the question is, um, what is the uh, best play you have ever made in a Pokemon battle? Uh, my best play I've ever made is when I was using a Zorak, and he had I switched into um. I switched my Zoroark in disguise as an Aerodactyl and it got poisoned from Toxic Spikes Layer 1 against his Nido Queen. So I purposely revealed that I was a Zoroark and he, um, I predicted the switch into his Sizor, which I purposely set up and I went for the flamethrower taking that thing out. So that was the best play I ever made. I remember uploading it, I don't remember which battle that was, but it was a great play. So, uh, yes, leave your answer in the comment section below and, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. This is Lightning Shad, saying peace.